So I really want to do some custom tissue paper but I don't really want to use No Issue um, because they're expensive and uh, they're not really as eco as like kind of they make out like they are. They're a little bit greenwashing so I don't really want to use them also I don't really want to pay any money for it so I'm gonna see if I can make it myself. I found in my paper drawer this massive pad that I have of this stuff called layout paper um let me just get it so it's like this is a2 size so this is twice a3 so as you can see it's freaking huge and it's like uh it's like I guess it's like newsprint kind of but yeah I wanted to see if I could make that into like custom tissue paper like make some designs and print them on it and I thought I'd do a video about it because other people might want to make their own tissue paper and wouldn't that be cool if everyone did it so I did a little bit of a test because I thought there's no point in even doing the design for it if I can't print on this paper so <laughs> I did a test first it prints on it so that's pretty cool so today I'm probably just gonna do the designs for it and try and print it out I want to do really simple designs I have done some tests in my sketchbook so I mean it's kind of a mess but so just like kind of simple I just wanted to do like some simple natural line drawings in one colour so it will save on my ink um, and I think I'm going to do a couple of different colours so I'm going to do one that's red, one that's pink, one that's green, one that's yellow I think just so whatever someone buys in my shop it'll go with the colour scheme because at the minute I'm kind of working on a few different colour schemes and I could just do pink for everything but I am liking red at the minute so I want to do at least pink and red I think but yeah so I was doing these kind of like flower and nature designs and then I was like I really want to draw an animal because obviously I draw a lot of animals that's kind of my shtick. A bunny I thought would do quite well or a squirrel because we all know how much I love squirrels and rodents in general but I wanted it to be something that was really simple just lines something that you can see from not many lines it is what it is and I'm actually not that great at drawing squirrels so I really settled on um maybe doing some illustrations for some bunnies and I did I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it because I was like drawing all over this page um this one in like orange where it's super super simple and I drew that guy and I was like I like that I want to do I want to do some more like that so I did these guys and I really like him because he's a little bit more dynamic I really like this little loaf guy and yeah so you can see what I mean like this is kind of getting to be too many lines for me I think this is probably the kind of thing so I really want to do a mixture of like some leaves and some flowers and some animals some bunny rabbits so I'm probably gonna just get started on that and do that on my Cintiq directly into the computer so that I can fiddle about with it and yeah let's go
so it's now dark time and it took me pretty much the entire day although I did also make a curry and have lunch and do normal life stuff so not bad not a bad Sunday spent I mean it worked it only freaking it only worked didn't it so I've done an A3 and a little A4 one so this one will be for like A5 prints and then this one will be for like A6 prints maybe stickers so I did a pink one too so cute I just went for the pink and the red in the end because um, most of my work is primarily pink and I kind of figured I'm only really introducing red for the new shop update stuff that I've got coming out so I, I might not end up needing it like if people are buying stuff from the old shop updates it won't have any red in it and it'll look a bit weird so I just did pink and red and I'm just gonna print out a few sheets of each so I can use it as and when the only problem I found is sometimes it like my printer prints this like weird black line on it which I'm not sure why it does that I can just cut it off so it's not like a massive deal but it's kind of annoying with the time I had left basically of the day I did these little guys these little thank you stickers oh my gosh because obviously my winter one doesn't make any sense anymore they are so cute I'm so happy with them I also did a little sort of test run of what it might look like and I love it I'll put the footage in um, here So yeah, so this is what it looks like, the finished thing. With a thank you sticker and some washi tape. And that's what the back looks like. I love it, actually love it. I mean, it's costing me a little bit of ink, but other than that, it's not really costing me anything. The layout paper I had laying around anyway, so I didn't have to buy it. I'm probably not gonna use it for anything else, so it's not like I'm gonna miss it another time. So basically, if you have a decent printer and some designs and some layout paper, you can make your own tissue paper. But yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I really think my packaging is going to look pretty sick now. So yeah, I just need to get on and actually um, make the products for the shop update now. So <laughs> wish me luck on that. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope this is useful info for you. If it was useful for you, leave me a little red heart emoji so I know that you got this far. And yeah, I'd love to see your pictures if you make your own tissue paper. I would love to see what you make. So tag me on Instagram, it's nikki.durham. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!